banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room for a review of a game based on everyone's favorite hero with a neckerchief. It's Speed Racer on the Super Nintendo. I've always been a huge fan of Speed Racer ever since I was a kid, so I gotta tell you I was pretty excited when I saw Speed Racer for the Super Nintendo and had high hopes that this game would indeed be super. After all, it's Speed Racer, right? He drives the Mach 5, he gets down with Trixie, and he's a badass who pulls off the neckerchief with ease. Not so much though, because this game falls into the pit of a game that tries to do two things at once, neither of them very well. It's like Destination Earth Star, except with more neckerchief. I mean, you've got to give speed credit. Not everyone can pull off that look. Most guys look like sissies with a neckerchief. Chuck Norris, circa 1979, with neckerchief, sissy. Speed Racer, badass. Sadly, this game isn't. It's a combination driving game and side-scrolling platformer. Disappointingly, the platforming is the better of the two. How's that possible? Speed Racer runs at a smooth one frame per second, maybe, if that. And that pretty much kills the racing part of the game. This is like the Gamecom. Well, maybe not that bad. After all, it does have color, but on the other hand, we also expect more from the Super Nintendo. It's called the Super Nintendo. It should be more super than this. Let me handle things. Maybe Racer X will make it better. What are you, what are you keeping your entire sock drawer in your pants? Speed Racer would be very disappointed in his own game, but I kind of see where they were going with this because it's like the TV show in that there's story followed by a race. So you play through the story with the platforming segments and then race. Except neither of them are very good. The, see, the TV show was actually pretty good. This isn't. It's actually borderline god-awful. To be, to be honest. Like, how does the same game system that delivers Super Mario Kart, Super Metroid, and Contra 3 play this? Like this? Why? Why? Did Accolade confuse themselves with a claim for a moment? Or were they both bought out by LJN? It's as bad as it looks. This doesn't play well at all. Even even though your cars have turbo boost and they can jump and the Mach 5's got like saw blades and stuff and it's the Mach 5 which is, you know, one of the coolest cars ever. It's it's terrible. I, I mean, visually it, it looks okay. It definitely has the style of Speed Racer, but the most exciting part of the entire game is throwing him off the train, which which is actually kind of funny. Trixie! What? Who's there? What do you want? Ha ha ha! Oh, Speed Racer! If you want to see your girlfriend Trixie again, pull out of the next race! Signed, Captain Terror! P.S. I'm a raging douchebag! Even the music in this game sounds depressed. I've got to help Trixie! Ooh. Here, I'll give away the ending. When you beat the game, Speed walks in on Trixie with Voltron. She knows what a real man is. Five robot lions, one of them piloted by a babe. That's right. This is how my mind works. Also, I, I have nothing else to talk about, so... Uh, just, just picture that. Speed Racer. The platforming is disinteresting and the driving is terrible. 
But that doesn't stop me from sending a huge classic game room shout out and thank you to Dent from Lake Mississippi. Thank you, Dent. It's Speed Racer for the Super Nintendo. Under no conditions should you actually try to play this game. Just watch the TV show instead. Or Voltron. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, now on Amazon and Classic Game Room Barware. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club being shouted from within. A Turbo, Turbo Volcano. Volcano! Starting with Jeff Breyer. <laughs> Derek Langley <laughs> Michael and Ariana Nelson <laughs> Benjamin Woodring Benjamin Woodring Stephen Chucknick Stephen Chucknick Al Stever Al Stever Ian Shore You sure are awesome Jason Goy <laughs> Sergio Matthias Hair Chip Sink Bell. Chip Sink Busy Signal. Sean Zoltek. Rick DeBarros. Rick DeBarros. Philip Straubenmuller. Jack Stavris. Oh, hot Kane! And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto, Portugal. Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto, Portugal. <laughs>